so tired. I tried to wake up at 5 a.m. this morning to fix my sleeping schedule. Guess what? I fell asleep at 12, so I did wake up at 5 and I went back to sleep. So let's try again tomorrow. Here I am. Again. Uh, I didn't make it. It is now... 7... 17. I'll try again tomorrow. Nobody's perfect. It's gonna take time. At least it's earlier than yesterday. That's good. Last night, I went to sleep at 10, pretty much earlier than usual. It's about 5.30 now, so I guess I got them. Woke up earlier, but my plan is a little poop today, so let's get started. So today is Friday, July 17th, I think. If not, I'll correct the date right there. Let's see, <laughs> I woke up at around seven o'clock, little 10 minutes before seven o'clock. So this week has not really worked out to waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Let's see how next week goes. It's not easy for everybody. Some people make it look so easy on YouTube, but it's not easy for everybody to wake up at that time, especially when you can't fall asleep. And I can't take sleeping pills or melatonin because it makes me have really strange dreams. I think it was two summers ago, I took a sleeping pill and I woke up and it felt like all of my bones were aching and it hurt so bad I couldn't go back to sleep. And then I think sometime last week, I took one five milligram melatonin dissolvable tablet and I woke up around midnight because I was having weird swirly trippy dreams it was really strange I guess I just have to somehow make myself tired enough to just pass out to exhaust myself pretty much we'll see how it goes all right time to go to work let's hit it I'm really struggling here. It's not looking good lately. Well, welcome back. Anyways, I successfully woke up early. I asked Jamie to wake me up when he goes to work. He wakes up at 4.40 a.m. Because I had a doctor's appointment at 10. A pretty big list today, which, oh, I'm sh sure I would have gotten super productive. I mean, I still got stuff done, but now I'm going to start my work. What time is it? It's already 1 o'clock, so 3.30, I have to go get some tests done and I'm uh, going to make some turkey chili. You want to be around for that? You want to check that out? Okay, so let's come and um, get some work done, shall we? Let's do that. So, uh, the past two days, today is Tuesday, July 21st. About 1.30 now, 1.24, whatever. Been waking up at 4.40 with Jamie because that's what time he wakes up to go to work. And for some reason, it really has made my legs ache and I've had a headache all day. I've been staying hydrated. I don't know. I don't really like waking up that early. Here we are, another morning. Didn't quite wake up at 4.40 this morning. It doesn't feel great to feel. Yeah, the past two days I've had terrible pain in my legs for being tired. I don't know what it's from, but. Um. Oh, 
It's a strange pain in my legs. I could hardly stay awake yesterday. Oh, look, my face is swollen when I woke up. I'm sure that happens to pretty much everybody, right? Oh my god, you guys, I made that green tea. This specific green tea is from Trader Joe's and I don't like it. And I just made a whole tub. Ugh. I'm here this morning. It is Thursday, July 23rd, uh, 6 12 a.m. Another hard one, guys. Don't know what it is. <laughs> I just don't seem to be able to wake up early without issue. Showing some gratitude here this morning to get off on a good start, you know? It's really been working for me. I really need to find that study, study to see if it's true that feeling gratitude you know, makes it impossible to feel any other feeling. So let me go drive somewhere else because I feel like these guys can probably see me and I feel awkward so give me a second. I have low battery so I guess that's all I'm going to say for this morning. Uh, you know, have a good day guys. Uh, I think I'm fully awake now. Let's hope that I don't get random exhaustion today like every other day. Uh, really, really just want today to go normally. Waking up at 5 a.m. and not feeling? Let's see how it goes. I don't know if I can keep this up for the rest of the time that this job is, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, last day for week two. Today is Friday, July 24th. Wait, what time is it? I, I have to go soon. It's 5.30. Okay, let me get ready and then I'll show you what I made for Friday. I'm running a bit late, so I'll just show you. I'm making some whipped coffee. Um, can't really film anymore. I'm, I really have to leave in like two minutes. <laughs> it is almost 12.30 p.m., still Friday. I'm really struggling. I got home from work and uh, to be honest, I didn't really get much done. So I'm about to have some pre-workout and um, hopefully be productive towards the second half of my day. It's almost over. Hey tubers, what is up? Please like the, uh, push that little like button there for me, just so I can, you know, get liked. <laughs> to be honest, I'm glowing right now because it's really hot in here and I don't want to turn the fan on or the AC. Anyways, so I woke up around 5 a.m. every day for two weeks and I kind of failed at it and let me tell you why and let me tell you why you don't have to feel like you have to wake up early to be productive uh, so it depends really on your lifestyle obviously when I had a normal job where I started at 7 and got off at 3 30 of course I had to wake up earlier to get to work on time Oh boy, it is freaking hot. Okay, but with this job that I have right now, I don't have to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, so the first week didn't really work out very well. Um, you know, I was still getting used to it. And uh, for some reason, I started getting a lot of pain in my legs and just being really tired. I was not going to sleep earlier like I should have. I'm just gonna lean on this while I talk to you guys. Yeah, so the first week didn't work out too well. The second week I asked Jamie, my partner here, boyfriend who I live with, he wakes up at 4.40 a.m. in the morning uh, to go to his job. So I asked him to wake me up when he goes to work. And uh, that sort of worked. You know, I was waking up earlier um, wow, I'm so wet. <laughs> okay, if the sound changed, I I turned the fan on. It was way too hot. 
Okay, yeah, so week two was a little better and honestly, I did get a little more productive. Uh, no, no, not that I was more productive, just I was getting everything done earlier than I usually would have. I just got like my usuals done earlier than I would have normally. Um, I haven't really been able to work out very much because my foot is messed up, so I didn't get more fit or cook anything extra special. I just got up earlier, beat the heat, got to work earlier. In conclusion, for me, it's not worth it to wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Um, I'm not a morning person. I'm a night person. I don't know if that's because I was born at night. No. I don't think so. Anyways, I'm more of a night person, so I'd rather stay up really late and get stuff done after dark than wake up super early and groggy. And to be honest, I'm really grumpy in the morning, so, um, no. <laughs> Does not work for me. Anyways, so, thanks for watching. Again, like it if you like it, it feels helpful. I didn't really plan it very well, so next one will be a little higher production, hopefully. So yeah, that's my story of me waking up uh, at 5 a.m., around 5 a.m., every day for two weeks. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let me know what you want to see next, because I have a few things a brewing, but uh, yeah, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm just doing this for fun, so I film things and sometimes make it into a video if I want to remember it and watch it in a cool little video with cool music in the background and me talking. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Bye!